Okay, you need to know all about distance time graphs and speed time graphs. The distance time graphs is slightly easier, so I'm just going to draw one here for you to have a look at and consider. So if you look at this first section here, you can see it starts at a distance of 0 and goes up to 10 in 20 seconds. Because it's a straight line, it means it's got a steady speed. So a steady speed from 0 to 10 meters. The second section is a horizontal line. All horizontal lines will mean that it stays at the same distance. So here it's staying at 10 meters, so it's stationary. And then this next section here, you'll see the line is steeper, much, much steeper than the first line. So it means it's a much steeper, it's much faster speed. And this last one, the diagonal line backwards, means that it's going at a steady speed still, because it's a straight line, but it goes back to zero, so it returns back to its original position. So here's a typical kind of question you might get. What is the speed during the first 20 seconds? Well, it's going from 0 to 10 in 20 seconds. So it's 10 meters in 20 seconds. So the answer is 0.5 meters per second. Second question here, how far is the object from the start after 60 seconds? You can look up the graph here. 60 seconds, it is a distance of 40 meters away. The third question, what's the speed during the last 40 seconds? Make sure that you're taking the change in distance, so it's going from 60 to 100 in a time of 40 seconds. So it's 40 meters in 40 seconds, so the answer is 1 meter per second. And the final question there, when was object traveling the fastest? You're looking for the steepest line. The steepest line is between 40 and 60.